Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Woo! Okay, you can see that the atmosphere is kind of different. Yeah, because we're going into the Christmas season. And I am a Christmas freak. Yeah, I love Christmas so much. And well, this is not my room. Honestly, I'm visiting a friend and we decided to do a Christmas decor. I'm gonna show you the video of the making, so you enjoy it. Christmas inspiration in case you want to design and you don't know what to do that was just created now that was like a dresser no that was um, a cloth anger okay and it was turned to a beautiful I need to show you closely close okay I don't know how to turn camera to the back bye bye yeah so this was just done now just now 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 and it's just so easy yeah so if you're in amber germany and you need me to do your decoration hola <laughs> myself no I am Theresa Adibisi and this is my channel where I talk about God with my lifestyle if you're just joining for the first time you are so very much welcome I hope you like this channel I hope you're blessed and I hope you continue to you know stay tuned and if you've been here before as always I really 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 appreciate you thank you peace <laughs> okay so um, today I'm going to talk about something that is um, how I put it like you know I share everything that has to do with me personally and how God helps me to you know grow more and learn more so for today um, I want to talk about getting comfortable and forgetting to go back to God as always relating this to me um, you know there are times that we ask God for so many things and we wait to you know hear from God we really pray we really fast we are really on our toes during this period that we really want God to do this for us and then we get so you know um, I don't know how would I would like put it we do not have any other hope or any other thing to fall back on we are really on God and then once it happened you just notice that you get more relaxed you get more comfortable that you forget to go back to God even when you're not really asking for anything in particular and I noticed that um, I, I kind of got comfortable with not you know praying as I ought to pray study my Bible as I ought to study my Bible um, I just got carried away a bit based on the fact that okay I've been asking God for so many things and God has done it for me now and you know just got relaxed now I'm not saying it's not good to get relaxed I'm not saying it's not good to you know just chill out and be your comfort zone but the danger of it is that the person that is waging a war against us does not sleep does not go on any relaxed zone does not get comfortable and you know what I'm talking about of course the devil he's always 
always on us. The Bible says he goes to and fro looking for who to devour. He doesn't have any resting time. And so as children of God, as youth, as young, vibrant youth that are supposed to be on fire for God, we do not have any reason to be lukewarm. We do not have any, really, uh, any reason to get relaxed based on the fact that, oh, I asked God for this thing and God has done it, so why won't? Why should I disturb myself? Why should I still continue to, you know, wait on God? Why should I still continue to fast when I don't have any problems? We do not always have to fast or pray or study the word when we have problems. That is meant to be our lifestyle. Don't forget, as I'm saying this, I'm also talking to myself. I'm the first person here listening to this. That we do not have to always pray and fast when we run into problems. It is something that we are meant to do at all times. We are children of God. We are meant to be constant, constantly in tune with the Holy Spirit. Constantly in tune, in tune with God. With praying, with fasting. And so, I know that there's a wake-up call for me today. Thank God for blessing me with wonderful spiritual people around me. I mean... I don't think I'll be where I am today without some people in my life, without, you know, some people God has placed in my life. And I just got like a message from my mentor and he was like, oh, that I should just general advice. I should watch out. I should do this. And I realized that, yeah, he's actually saying the truth because at some point I just got comfortable and I got busy and I got lazy. But this is me telling myself that time to wake up. Yeah. Time to start doing what I'm supposed to do. Time to start praying, fasting, studying my word. No break time for us. Yeah, you know there's no break time as children of God. So that's what I wanted to share with you that do not get too comfortable that when you ask God for something and then he does it, you feel relaxed and you feel there's no need to, you know, go back to God. No, that's, those are the lies of the devil. Always be at a light. Always be ready because the devil is always ready to strike at any time. And you and I do not want to be caught on guard. Alright? Yeah, that's all. So I hope that blesses someone out there and still enjoy the look of christmas like i said i'm a christmas freak i love christmas so much and so i hope that you're getting prepared don't let covid or whatever disturb you from enjoying the season go bro you got only one life leave it right <laughs> okay so thank you for watching today's episode i hope that blessed you do not forget to like share and most importantly subscribe and I hope that you find this useful. Yeah, so that's all. I remain Theresa. I didn't say till I come. You're with me next time. Ciao. Jingle bell rock, jingle bell swing, and jingle bells ring. So when the